to put. Now, that's quite funny you mentioned that because did you see it live? Yes. Oh, wow, that's yeah. cool. I can't remember what time of day it was. It was in the morning. Yeah, it was Ian yeah. King's yeah. show. Yes, yeah, Ian King's it. brilliant. Yeah. So then I instantly followed you on Instagram and then I've just been following you ever since. Yeah. So did you, I read that you left school at 15. So you left yeah. school early. Yes, I left school in year 10. So in the summer of, of summer of 2019. Um, and wow, then by really that, not that long ago. No, no, exactly. I'm only 18 now. 19 in October, though. So that's I think like, this was what then. you posted due, due to mental health and social difficulties. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So I really struggled with um, bullying as millions of people across the country do. And in fact, you know, millions across the globe. And it's something which, yeah, was horrible to experience. It actually was turning me into not a very nice person mm. um, because I was doing what they would do to me to others sometimes, yeah. you know. And I think it is that toxic circle that people go around in. Um, and I just guess I didn't really fit in. I was just in a typical West Cumbrian. Um, state school where everybody was used to the lads playing rugby and the girls doing what, whatever they were doing it was mm. very stereotypical and I was just this guy doing something really different working in the house of commons and um, it's the odd time and you know doing all this work on festivals and freelancing and working for all these cool people and um, usually that the, the bullying comes from jealousy y usually yeah um, I think also it's it's when someone's doing something different, different. and yeah. yes that will play into jealousy but I I, I sometimes i separate the two but i think um, younger people don't often know how to sort of vent that like they could have they, they could have given you a pat on the back and yeah. congratulated, congratulated you but instead no yeah for sure so i really really struggled and actually it was january and february the doctor of that year the doctor my doctor and my gp had signed me off to school and i went back and i think it was the middle of the february and, and those kind of next three four months were the, the worst i ever experienced at school and i just kind of then become very defiant and said i am not going back um and it was very controversial you know my family both my sisters went to uni um yeah, we're, like, uh, we're not anti-establishment you know we're not anti-establishment it isn't it was very abnormal dad and mum have never homeschooled anybody no mm. one in the family ever has um so yeah then we went into a period of doing a bit of homeschooling and then all of a sudden march 2020 came and everyone was talking about this thing called covid and I'd actually, um, l late, late in 2019, I was offered an apprenticeship in the in the kind of events and arts world, um, which was really looking exciting and it was brilliant. That was then completely mm. off the cards come March, March 2020. And I think it's important to know I was offered that without a single GCSE and them knowing that I wouldn't have a single GCSE. Mm. Now, you know, I don't want to come on the podcast and talk about how they don't matter because they certainly still have a place. But I think it's really important to get across just how crucial a portfolio is. And that's what got me that offer. Um, you know, that's what I say to many young people, but also people up here in Cumbria where the creative world isn't as necessarily as, as dominant as where it is elsewhere yeah. but yeah that's what got me that and then march 2020 that was kind of completely off the cards and it was the 30th of march actually i decided that i was actually going to launch a business for real in lockdown <laughs> yeah a week a week and a few days into lockdown i had 25 pound in my bank account and i spent 12 of it on registering the company with company's house platinum live yeah ltd and we don't call ourselves that obviously but um we just go as platinum live but and the last two years, honestly, we just celebrated our two years of trading um, with a pretty swanky soiree, which I, I quite like a party, by the way. <laughs> um, but one with a difference. We'll g we can get on to that later. But yeah, I mean, it's been a really, really crazy two years. 